What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and today I want to talk about a very high level concept that not only explains the reasoning for quite a lot of my videos, but actually explains all the shifts in the meta and why things are overpowered. And that starts with the current game state of League of Legends. Now, this all stems from one overarching concept, which is the concept of perfect imbalance. Perfect imbalance can be described as a type of a game state, and it's what most fantasy PvP games have, and in particular League of Legends. What Perfect Imbalance actually is, is a game state where it's built off the concept of when everything is imbalanced, nothing is. When things are imbalanced in just the right way, such as Riot has created, it results in this perfect imbalance game state, where everything is balanced due to the fact that everything has strengths and weaknesses, all of which are exploitable. Things are balanced not because they themselves are fair, but because counter picks, counter play, and counter builds exist in such a way that it makes those mechanics fair. This honestly makes the game way more fun, as rather than having everything be equal, nothing is equal, but when you put it all together, all the mechanics create this puzzle kind of thing that makes everything equal and fair. Now, this concept is of course difficult to maintain, which is why we see buffs and nerfs happening often, but Riot overall does quite a good job of maintaining this perfect imbalance. Now, we can use this concept to explain meta shifts and why flavor of the months exist, and it is quite possibly the flaw in a perfectly imbalanced game. It's really kind of a cycle. It starts out with an OP champion, and then the flavor of the month becomes the champion that counters that first champion, since players can excel really well with it against that popular champion, and then that champion becomes the OP champ due to its counter potential, and then a new champion pops up and the cycle continues. However, it isn't that simple. There's so many parts of the game that can be countered that these flavor of the month simply just feel like overpowered champions rather than champions that counter things. One example of this is the recent rise of Ari's popularity. The biggest reason she's a flavor of the month is not because she counters other mid laners, but because everyone is starting to play squishy support champions and Ari is amazing at assassinating those champions. Add on top of that that she's fairly good in her own respective matchup, and you have a champion that does extremely well in its own part of the game and can dominate a completely different part of the game, leading to this overall feeling of overpoweredness. This is exactly what happens when the flavor of the months change. Things counter other things and the cycle continues. But since there's so many things to counter, flavor of the month simply just end up feeling like overpowered champions, but in reality it's only a while until another counter arises. It's only when something breaks the cycle of being able to be counterpicked that makes something truly overpowered. When something becomes overpowered, it's not because of actual strength, but because of the lack of counterplay, and we can see Ari creating that with her amazing mobility. And that's not to say completely lacking counterplay, just lacking it by a significant amount compared to other things. And that's what makes things overpowered. And this of course applies not only to champions, but to items, strategies, and every other part of the game. It also works when seeing if things are underpowered too, as if when something has a large amount of counterplay. So to summarize, a perfectly imbalanced game is where a game state is balanced based off of counterplay and the mechanics balance themselves out because of this. In addition, we see flavor of the months due to the unending cycle of counterplay. And lastly, something can be considered truly overpowered when it breaks the perfectly imbalanced cycle by lacking a significant amount of counterplay. My name is Jeremy, and that is it for my video on why things are overpowered. I'd love if you could support me with a like or join me on my North American chat room, Gaming Curios, which I'm always in when I go online. Please subscribe for more awesome content in the future if you enjoyed this video, and I'd love if you could follow me on Facebook or Twitter, of which I will have links in the description. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.